Hello Vlogmas Day 5 or 6. I think this one is number 6. So hello Vlogmas Day number 6. Um, I just got done finishing the Q&A for yesterday's Vlogmas. And I did leave out one that I wanted to include in this current vlog that I'm vlogging right now. So I'm going to go ahead and answer that right now. Today's vlog is kind of going to be a full day of eating with detailed stuff. Just because I know that you guys want me to be more specific with things that I'm eating and then how I make it and all of that. So let's go ahead and go downstairs. Fuck, it's so dark and it's so cold. I wonder why they keep all the blinds closed. I don't know if I'm home alone. Yes, I am home alone so I can, <laughs> so now I can talk as loud as I want. Sometimes when I'm vlogging and I feel like my parents are here, I feel like a little bit weird just because I'm like, fuck, I'm being so loud and they're over here trying to sleep and whatnot. There we go. Now we got light. So it is 1.17 p. Oh shit. My phone. I haven't eaten anything. Like I said, I was doing the Q&A. Fuck. Some days I'm just like, fuck, what do I eat? I have oatmeal, but I ran out of regular almond milk. I think I see some beans in there. There's already rice, so that might be easier. So I guess I'm not gonna have like a breakfast meal for my breakfast or for my first meal. I'm just gonna go ahead and have that. And I'll go ahead and show you guys all of the portions and everything. So hopefully this is a good video so you guys have like a good idea on what I pretty much eat. You know what I hate? When the counter is wet and you can't see that it has liquid on it and you end up putting your phone on it my phone ended up getting wet but I took off the case somebody asked would you recommend taking protein and pre-workouts if you're trying to lose weight I feel like I say this so many times but the only reason why you want to be taking any supplements is honestly just because they are there to help you really the only reason to take that is just because if you're not able to meet your protein intake goal for the day and you need a little bit of help then you're gonna want to go ahead and take some protein supplements drinking protein shakes isn't gonna help you lose weight drinking protein shakes isn't gonna help you gain weight if you're already meeting your requirements and you're already hitting your calories for the day and you drink like a protein shake every single day just because and you're exceeding your calories that your body needs then yes you're gonna gain weight and if you're not eating enough and you're only drinking the protein shakes then yes you are gonna gain weight but they don't they essentially are just there to help you meet your protein goal you guys don't need to go out and buy any protein supplements only if you want to like I said It's just there to help you guys out and then for pre-workouts again They're just there if you need a little bit more help But for the most part your pre-workouts are just gonna be to help you if you need that extra boost If you need more energy to go and hit the gym if you're feeling like if you're feeling lazy And you don't have the motivation to go it is gonna help you but then even with that I don't really recommend you guys to go and buy supplements exercise stay consistent consistent, stay hydrated, keep your diet pretty well balanced. I try to follow a plant-based diet, so I don't know if that'll help you guys. You gotta be patient, you gotta wait for the progress to just to just show up. If you want to improve on a part of your body, like let's say your biceps, you're gonna wanna be more consistent with hitting your biceps. If you wanna work on your legs and make them bigger, then you're gonna want to consistently work on legs, have more leg days than not. To wrap this all up, you don't need protein powders, you don't need pre workout powders like I said just stay consistent with everything and you guys will start seeing results all right so for my rice it's all in this big ass pan because my mom made so much rice I like when my mom makes hella cuz then it just it makes it easier for me to just get my food and go I'm gonna be taking three-fourths of a cup of rice I don't get too perfect with it just because as long as you're kind of on track that's fine you don't have to like literally flatten out the rice make sure it's exactly three fourths of a rice and then for beans she made hella as well so all of it is in there I'm gonna get the same so three-fourths of a cup of beans pop it in the microwave or I'm gonna pop it into the microwave for like a minute and 30 seconds and that's literally all you don't have to get fancy with anything you can if you want to also I would say maybe add some veggies but I'm feeling a little bit lazy right now actually fuck it let's go ahead and add some veggies I'm gonna be taking half a zucchini usually I like to cut these in half I already did kind of rinse it a little bit usually this is about hundred and seventy to two hundred grams there we go so just a little bit of veggies and I like to add a little bit of garlic salt just to give it a little bit more flavor this is 
tofu. It looks so weird. I'm gonna go ahead and take about four ounces. I already know what four ounces pretty much looks like. So this is about four ounces because I eat tofu all the time. So the way that I cook it is I cut them in little cube pieces. So like about this size. And I also throw it in with the veggies just so they can cook at the same time and it just, it finishes at the same time versus if I only put in the veggies and then it did the tofu after. And I don't have any freaking spraying stuff. What is it called? The freaking cooking spray because when I went grocery shopping the last time, I ended up forgetting to get that and that's what I actually went for. So here, let me go ahead and show you guys how it's cooking so far. You can see that it's sticking to my pan because I don't have the freaking cooking spray. But I just kind of let it get a little bit crispy. And then what I do is I take this one on top so all of the moisture stays in here and then it gets a little bit softer and it kind of like steams in a way and that's pretty much what I do I kind of just wing it every single time whenever I want to make a meal like I said I was just gonna have the rice and beans and then I was like wait I should probably show them like a more balanced meal so that's why I threw in the veggies and you can use any kind of veggies you can have how many ever portions that you want as well it just depends on how much you want to eat um okay so what you don't want to do is burn your food food I am way too lazy to make another batch I'm just gonna go ahead and eat this also because I really don't want to make this go to waste so I kind of fucked up I'm pretty sure this is fine I'll probably put like some ketchup to to override the burnt flavor but we have our rice the beans and then we got the zucchini with the tofu I think I'm gonna go ahead and get some of my favorite chocolate milk this is the almond milk that I'm gonna be using the almond breeze almond milk 100 calories this stuff is so freaking good I love chocolate almond milk and the macros for this is really good too it's 2.5 grams of fat 19 grams of carbs and then one gram of protein all of it together is only 497 calories I don't know if you guys can see that it's all right here all of my things I'm gonna go ahead and cook this in a bit with the tortilla it ended up coming up to 587 calories which is more of my liking if anything just follow me on my fitness pal so you can really see what I'm eating this is the very last of it the zucchini tofu food ketchup on top and then I added the tortillas so I hope this was really helpful I try to be more detailed more in depth with everything I'm hoping that this tofu doesn't taste like ass so yeah I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next meal it is nighttime now and my friends are here Daisy got her car back so I feel like she's really excited bye <laughs> are you guys vlogging Oh shit. No, no amiga. <laughs> what day is this? Vlogmas day six, six huh? Yeah. Vlogmas. Fucking six. Damn. You no Let's sleep. fucking get it. No fucking sleep. We're at Bed Bath & Beyond and I came and I'm vlogging because I wanted to show you guys what I'm going to be getting for my, Wait, my snack. Vlogmas. Hello Vlogmas. Como están? Como están? <laughs> that was good. Bed Bath & Beyond has the hook up with the bars. I'm going to get... <laughs> I'm getting another one of these cookies just because I heck like one. them. They have the snickerdoodle one? ones. Dude, everyone says That's to the try the snickerdoodle. That's the one that my, um, my student friend gave me in class. And it's bomb? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna grab one of these just because everybody Damn recommends man. it. And I'll get a peanut butter one. Oh, fuck. You didn't even Dude, no. You guys, I almost left my phone. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, why are you giving me your phone? And then I realized it was mine. Here's a tutorial on how to eat the galleta. <laughs> the galleta, everybody. Just make sure to cut a piece, put it in your mouth. Oh, come on. Taste how it. How does it taste? Oh, smell it. My God. Feel does it smell it. good? Dude, this is bomb. It kind of tastes like the peanut butter one, but put this one has like cinnamon. <laughs> this one has like cinnamon. Okay, 10 out of 10. Recommend this too. Now I see why everybody like this. Dude, I fucking love the peanut butter one. It's fucking bomb. Are you trying the snickerdoodle one? Here, try some of the snicker. I tried the snickerdoodle one at um, school today though. It's good, huh? Mm -hmm. Holy fuck! We're feeling a little bit weird, so we decided to come in this little room that they have. We're gonna be doing a little bit of cardio on the bikes. For how long? 
Five minutes of cardio? Fuck it, why not? I don't care. I hate cardio. Honestly, don't get how people can do full days of eating. I feel like I suck. I am so sorry So I'm just gonna be eating literally the same meal that I showed you guys in the beginning when days are like this And I'm so busy. I really have a hard time eating and I'm whispering because my dad just woke up He said something but I didn't really hear I'm gonna go ahead and actually show you guys the macros and be a little bit more detailed with it Because I feel like every time that I eat I make sure that the macros are pretty pretty macro friendly at least for me for my meal this is what it looks like this looks oh fuck i forgot the ketchup okay let's just pretend that there's ketchup on this and i forgot my damn almond milk so this is what the meal looks like it's literally just rice and beans and zucchini i ended up not putting in the tofu because i already hit my macros for the day so well i kind of hit them pretty good i hit my protein goal for sure this app that i'm always talking about is called my fitness pal i know that a lot of you guys ask me what app i use and it's this one i feel like i'm always talking about it and so my goal was 90 grams of protein but i went over it by six so i hit 96 grams of protein today and my goal for carbs was 271 i don't really mind about my carbs i don't i don't really track it just as long as it's like i guess i kind of keep it 200 to 300 grams a day for my fats i try to keep it under 40 but i was a lot under i only hit 27 grams of fat today but i don't really care too much if i'm under i just care if i'm over just because it's kind of like my own little thing i just get really freaked out i feel like 40 grams of fat is kind of low you guys can correct me if i'm wrong but that's just kind of what i've been following and it works for me i got all of the macros for only this meal including the ketchup that i'm gonna go get and including the almond milk that i forgot so for this full meal if you want something kind of high carb and low fat and like a good amount of protein this meal is really really good like always you can add anything if you want you can take away anything if you want for fats this meal is 5.5 grams of fat for carbs it is 102 grams of carbs and then for protein it is 23 grams and then all together it's 482 calories and I think for today I was a little bit low on hitting my calories but that's okay I always find it so crazy how I can hit my macros pretty good I guess I mean for me this is pretty good but then I'll have like calories remaining it's probably because of the fats that I didn't hit and then the little bit of carbs but I think I did pretty good today like being under 200 calories it's not really a big deal the next day which is today because it's like 2 in the morning right now I can just eat an extra of 200 calories in my opinion I feel like it'll balance out regardless I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog and that it was somewhat helpful and that maybe you guys can get an idea I honestly feel like I eat the same thing every single day but I'm gonna go ahead and try to switch it up sometimes just because I am doing vlogs every single day just so it doesn't get boring and so you guys have a little bit more of options so you guys can try it yourselves I'm gonna go ahead and just finish eating this and I will see you guys tomorrow for sure